today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a connection that's been corroded due to outside weather. As you can see how bad this was. This is actually one of the speakers that I already fixed. Um, I have taken it apart from the front, take everything out, and then solder new wires onto the connection and then drill a hole where the wire comes right out of here. So let's take a look at the other speaker. I'm going to do the same thing on that one. So I have taken all these screws out, taken the grill off already. It's going to be a little tough because these speakers are kind of old and they haven't been taken apart yet. Okay. Just taking off all these screws, making sure they're out. I have a lot of stuff going on in the background, as you can hear. Family's over, and it's an awesome, awesome day, a beautiful day out. There you go. Okay, now that we have the speaker out, we can unplug it. Okay, I'm gonna take one thing, one speaker wire out of out at a time. So we don't just pull on it. That's it. Okay, as you can see, there's no corrosion inside, but there is corrosion on the outside of it. And what I'm going to do is unplug the input. I just want to make sure it's focused. Is it still focused? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to cut it, so we're going to solder new wires onto it anyway. You hear Dee Dee in the background, playing with my baby. You just need that speaker wire, which is just using a short jumper. Does it matter the gauge of the wire? Not really, as long as it's at least 16 gauge. I usually like to use at least 16. If it's a long run, maybe a, you know, then you go up to a 14 gauge wire. But 16 is enough for this little repair. So I'm gonna put these two together. And I have a soldering gun and solder the wire on. The soldering iron gets up to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, very, very hot, so you gotta be careful. Just melting on someone here so the heat could transfer from the soldering iron onto the wire. Best way to do it is heating up the wire and letting the solder melt into it. And we're done. Two, one. The other wire is a little hot, so I'm trying not to touch it. Yeah, it's okay.
This is just one of the YouTube videos that I'm going to be posting that are going to be in series. I'm going to be posting a lot of them just for do it yourself. -ers. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to put some electrical tape on it. I'll use heat shrink, but I don't have any right now, so this is good electrical tape, it will do this job. And this enclosure is pretty watertight. As you can see, this enclosure is actually over five years old, and there's no corrosion inside of it, so I'm not worried about any water getting into it. This is actually a part of a Sonos system. Sonos amp, and then Sonos Connect zone player going to this and uh, another amplifier pushing this. These speakers actually sound very good. The clips. See. Yes. So we're gonna drill this. And drill it right there. Okay, so we're gonna drill it right in the center here. I'm just going to put the wire through. Okay. So, there you go. Now we got the wires. We can get rid of the old wires on here. These are actually corroded on. I can't even turn this terminal or this one. So these two are dead now. There's nothing going to them. And I will cock this so no water can get in there from there. And now I'm going to put the speakers back in. Grab this. And Make sure you put the right wires on the right speaker. So you got a woofer and a tweeter. And the crossover, which is this right here, it tells you which one is which, woofer and tweeter. So in this case, the green wire is your woofer. Make sure you got the positive negative light on it also as well. The smaller connectors are usually negative, the bigger connectors are positive. Okay, bring everything back in the way it was. And let's screw everything back together. And now I'm just going to put everything back in, the screws, screwing it back together, and then I can put the grill on. And the last thing is I got to put the uh, caulking in the back of it. And you can hear the dogs in the background.
and this is how you do it. That's it. The speaker's coming. The speaker wire is coming out of the back. All I have to do is just cork this. No water gets in, and now you're gonna get maybe another five years out of this speaker. Thank you for watching.